know here. May we know why you are in court today? I came to court uh, to institute uh, an action against uh, the DSSS for gross violation of my rights uh, as a citizen of Nigeria, as a human rights activist, and as a lawyer to Mazen Nandekalo. Uh, you recall, Nigeria will recall that uh, Nandekalo was uh, adopted and unlawfully brought into this country. That was the uh, uh, 26th day of uh, June. And brought this in, in this court on the 29th day of June without his legal representation. Now, all our efforts to see Nandekalo proves about it. Now, we, uh, we, we wrote to uh, DSSS through uh, the law firm of uh, Ifai Ejofo, Esquire, the lead counsel. They refused us access. Now, the day they're supposed to bring Nandekalo to court here, yeah, that was in July. We thought that now they would bring Nandekalo here. Yeah. So we are waiting, including the judge, only for them to, 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 to inform the court that they were having logistics problem. That was uh, the reason why they were unable to, to bring Nandekalo to court. So we applied before the court that we don't have access to uh, Mas Nandekalo because we have been hearing rumor that he has been murdered in the uh, uh, facility of DSSS. So court now asked them, they said that Mas Nandekalo was alive. Court now made a consequential order asking them that they should allow uh, and the Carlos uh, lawyers and members of his family to be visiting him two times every week. That is Mondays and Thursdays. That order was served on DSSS. Assuming that one is not enough, they refuse us access again. We filed we five from 48 against uh, the director of DSSS. Immediately they, they discovered that we are, they discovered that we have uh, commenced uh, uh, content proceedings against them. They said they to allow us uh, access. We continued. Anytime we went to that place, the normal thumb printing, we drop our handset at the desk, the snap us picture and what have you. We continued. Reaching last two weeks. They, that was uh, on uh, Monday last week to be precise. I went there with my learned friend uh, Henry Dimba to go and uh, visit Nandekalo. After the normal uh, screening at the reception, they took me to a private room and uh, removed my eyeglass, removed my jacket, removed my shoes, removed my stockings, and, uh, uh, removed my. I asked them, why should you? Uh, strictly naked. They said that uh, I should comply with them. Otherwise, I'm not going to sing down the camera. Now, they removed my belt and I told them that this weather is harsh. I cannot um, enter into that room of uh, with uh, 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 AC without my jacket. I'm allergic to, to cold. They said, except I'm not going to sing down the camera. They removed my wedding ring. Now, they collected my medicated eyeglass. I pleaded with them to release my eyeglass. They said no. I said, I can't use, I can't stay with that eyeglass for 30 minutes. They insisted that I must remove it. So when they removed my belt, my trouser was pulling down. They started making jest of me that I don't even have waist. So I was holding my trouser. I don't have all option that time because I needed to see Martin and the color that day to get some information to prepare his uh, his case. So I had no option. I went there to see all on seeing me, on sighting me, looking very shabby. Now the color started weeping. He shed tears, asking why should they uh, uh, subject me to uh, uh, to this condition. I said, don't worry, I will handle it. After seeing oh, and the color, I, I came out and I told them that I will let the world know and I will fight it. I uh, filed enforcement of fundamental rights in 50 million naira suit, asking court to declare because is in Nandekalo today, 
it can be another person tomorrow. And we cannot continue to keep quiet. So I'm going to I'll fight the action, um, um, uh, the for enforcement of fundamental rights, asking court to declare all those actions illegal because Nigeria belongs to all of us. And this is a, a court that is operating uh, 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 democracy that is predicated on the rule of law. So we should respect the, the, the sanctity of the rule of law. We should respect lawyers. The NBA cannot keep quiet. Civil society cannot keep quiet. Nobody can. So those should keep quiet because a law, a, 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 a suspect or a defendant under the law has a right of local practitioners of his uh, choice and he needed adequate time and the facility for him to prepare his defense so that is the reason why i'm in federal high court and i want the world to know i hear them say i don't know the next plan they are going to do because maybe we will hear that we have gone there to 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 to, to visit them and, they cannot, and we will be detained so they cannot hide on that issue of security if you feel that I planted something. You can search my suit and hand it over to me. You can check my eyeglass and hand it over to me. And you can check my shoe and hand it over to me, not to subject me I like a common criminal. Because under the law, Nina Nicalo is presumed innocent. Of course, everybody knows that Nina Nicalo never committed anything. He is agitating for, uh, uh, for safe determination. That is our position. And let it be on record that as we speak now, there is no pending charge against Nina Nicalo. That is the position. So, 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 so that, that is the In a way, you saw can life be claimed for life at the DSS court. Yes, I saw Nina Nicalo. I hear I'm saying. But let it be on record that Nina Nicalo don't have access to his own uh, 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 um, uh, 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 medical doctors. He needs a specialist to examine him. He only has access to the, uh, to the uh, uh, doctors being provided by DSSS and to the best of our knowledge. DSSS is not a place where you keep somebody. You keep somebody in the correctional center. So that is, I would not know the reason why the judge should order that he should be kept in the DSSS. Because I, when he was at the prison at Uche, we normally go there to visit him. They give us paper. If you don't have paper, they give us paper. Let me also say that even the pen and the place sheet that went to go and collect his statement, his other statement in regards to what what we needed to find. They collected it. They collected it. So I don't see the reason why they should be handling a, a mass and the call a human rights activist like this. That is the position. It's my pleasure. Okay.